Hello guys, what is up? And today I'm going to show you how can you connect ETS2 to Razer Synapse 3. So for example, if you're going to be in game uh, in Aero Truck Simulator 2 or American Truck Simulator and let's say you're driving right and you want to indicate. So for example, if you're going to click this button, it's going to flash. It's going to show on the keyboard that you're indicating to the right side. If you're going to click on the left, it's going to show on the left. And basically, uh, it's like it's like having a um, keyboard RGB inter integration synced to the game. So I'm gonna show you how can you do it. It's not really hard, but actually it is hard because I I was messing around with this stuff for about well one hour and I finally figured it out. And it's actually quite simple. So first of all, what you're gonna need to do is go to modules and get Chroma Connect. So it's gonna take some time for me to get it. And it's simply because, uh, <laughs> internet in UK is fucking shit. I'm, I'm, I'm honest with you, it's, it's crap, it's crap, it's really bad. So, uh, let's just wait for the download to finish. And yeah, I'm just gonna go this part probably. A few megabytes, a few kilobytes, and now what we're gonna do is click install and restart. So, it's gonna install the... Uh, Razer Connect or yeah Razer Connect or whatever it's called and it's gonna rest um, restart the not your computer it's gonna restore the Razer Synapse so I'm gonna be back after it's gonna be finished installing here we go so it's finished installing and that tab just closed automatically and here we go we have we have this thing reopened and yeah cool so now we're gonna have this connect tab so what we're gonna do we're gonna click on connect and as you can see it's gonna be empty nothing is completely nothing is in here so my recommendation is is to go to steam and launch the game single player or multiplayer it doesn't really matter because as soon as we're gonna launch the game i'm just gonna disable the sound because it's uh, you see you see it's appearing here so that means it's basically working. And as you can see, we have like different colors now. So for example, escape, RG, and this is for the menu. So escape for menu, R for radio, G for garage, M for map, enter for start driving or whatever. So here we go. Now it's working, we have escape. Well, the keys that are not being used are gonna be grayed out, uh, typical. So we have escape here, obviously. F, for example, that's switching uh, between 1 and 9, switching the scenery. And as you can see, if you're going to select 9, well, 9 is like switches between them in order. And as you can see, for example, this one is yellow now. No, number 1 is yellow. Another one are oranges. So I'm going to click on 8. It's going to be yellow, blah, blah, blah. going to click F1. It's pause. F2 is toggling, toggling mirrors. Uh, WASD is move, E is for something, oh for the engine, so one cool one is F, so if you click F it's gonna flash uh, yellow, yeah yellow and red, you click that, you disable it, it's not flashing anymore, you want wind, uh, whatever it's called, wind screens, wind, wind, wind wipers, you enable it, it's blue, you want to make it faster you click it it's light blue and now it's gonna be quicker so enter is enter is like always flashing is because not always flashing so if we're gonna move out of this area it's not flashing anymore it's gonna flash uh yeah it's gonna flash when you are on anything that um that you can actually interact with so let's say we have this repair base, right? Repair wrench. As you can see, it's gonna start flashing. So what are the cool features of it? Um, I thought it's gonna show the uh, indication when you driving too quick, but I think on my keyboard it's not supported because I have Razer Black Widow Chroma. But on the other, other ones, I believe it will be supported. So let's say I want to show you one cool feature. Uh, if we're gonna be able to, 
We're driving without lights, so let's enable lights as you can see the screen now. One more time. Headlights is K is blue. So the interesting thing about it, let's let's just ignore all the rules, let's just drive, you know, you see red light, yeah? Now watch with my keyboard what's gonna happen. So when I was editing this video, I realized something else in this clip. So basically, if you're gonna watch with my keyboard really closely, at this point, when I made a crash, uh, I didn't know that it's gonna actually happen. So what? look what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna turn the sound off. Watch really carefully. Okay. See? Cool. What's, what happened? What's gonna happen? And I crash. Boom. Indication that I crashed. That's actually quite an interesting feature. I didn't saw it when I was driving. I thought when you're gonna go past the red light, what's gonna happen is your keyboard is gonna flash in blue. That you got, that you actually paid fine. Because it's to do with police. But I never knew that this gonna happen so that's actually pretty cool and yeah i hope you've noticed that as well well now you obviously noticed that so back to the video okay cool <laughs> the game ignored me that i'm going through the red signal what a shame on your game uh so usually when you uh reach a speed limit not speed limit but you like go past the camera really quickly, quicker than you're supposed to, you're gonna get fined and the keyboard is gonna freak out and it's gonna be like blue, flashing blue. So it's not freaking out but it's quite a cool feature. And yeah, so the tutorial is basically finished. There is nothing to nothing to add to it. It's, it's quite simple but it took me one hour to kind of realize how to do it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and if you're gonna have any questions, do not hesitate and leave them in the comment section below, and I'm gonna try to answer them as soon as possible. And yeah, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys, and I will see you guys in the... Actually, yeah, in the next video. Peace out.